All right, hello everyone. Day two on Clover. And let's see what Tom Nook has to say. Let's see, testing, testing, test, test, test. Hello every- Oh dear, so sorry about that. The volume was a little loud there. Hello everyone. Starting today, I'll be doing an island-wide broadcast full of island updates, going-ons, and such. Hmm? I'll go over something that are very important to island life, so lend me your ears for a short time. Now, it's only fitting that we kick off this daily ritual with a doozy of an island announcement. The Clover Airport is now open for business. Starting today, you can see you can use online or local communication to fly to other islands for a visit. That's not all, no, no. The airport counter now offers postal services. And just like the resident services center, the airport is open 24 hours a day. So please do drop by for a look. That's all for me. I do hope you all enjoy another fine day of luxurious clover living. All right, thank you, Tom Nook. All right, hello again, everyone. Like I said, today is day two on clover. And I do have a couple initiatives for us to go through today. So one, I want to get started on the museum because we have still have to donate all of our fish and bugs that we caught in the last episode. And then I also want to get started on the shop. So we'll have to collect a bunch of resources and donate those to Timmy. Um, so that will take a good amount of time because we didn't start that in the last episode. So we'll have to collect uh, 30 of each wood and then 30 iron nuggets, which is always the most difficult part. But we did get some mail. Let's see. We have Jack's portrait. Apples. A low wooden table DIY. And a simple DIY workbench. So let's learn these real quick. In the beginning of the game, I always use Tom Nook's workbench because I never want to waste my iron to make the actual DIYs um but let's see I don't have any of the fish or anything in my pocket but we did leave them inside of the house so we'll go and collect those so we can donate them to get the museum set up and then in a little bit I also want to change our outfit um because it's not very clover like so we'll see what items that we can get for us to look a little bit more of the part and i think to get the museum we only have to donate five of these so yeah that's five different ones so let's go see mr tom nook all right let's run over to the tent oh look there's tommy with his little flag again okay i also realized we didn't talk to our villagers the first day so we'll have to talk to them. I think they'll still give us the DIY and stuff. Yes, okay, so Sylvia is gonna give us the leaf umbrella. If you didn't know, the sisterly also always gives you the DIY for the leaf umbrella. And then the jock always gives you a hat, but he's sitting right now, so I don't think he's going to do that. But we do get some miles for talking to them. So I'm kind of bummed we didn't do it yesterday because we would have had a two-day streak, but that's okay. We'll just get the miles today. There we go. I do also want to get the pocket expansion because right now we only have the two rows and you can expand to get all of the three rows. Dang, there's still more. Apparently I didn't check any of these. We might already get there with how many things we have, but we got one for opening our phone and then our moving fees paid. All right, and I think that's it, right? Yes, okay. Yep, so first let's go ahead and go donate all these to Tom Nook. Oh, and then they'll be talking about the shop. So you see, since the number of homeowners is increasing, I agree that we need to build a shop. However, when it comes to building supplies, our customers' homes should take priority. I have every confidence that you'll find a way to handle this little puzzle. Yeah, and it's gonna be us. We'll have to do the hard work for them. The two of you have been training under me for many years now, hmm? This should be a piece of cake. Well, hello there, Kaylee. Are you happy with your home? It is meeting your expectations? I bet you'll be a lot more comfortable now. Houses are so different from tents, hmm? You can freely change up the flooring and wallpaper, and you've got some built-in storage so you can put away any furniture you aren't using. 
oh yes, and there's more. All homeowners are automatically registered with Happy Home Academy. The HHA, as we call it, will evaluate your home on a regular basis and send you helpful advice. They even send rewards to members whose, house, whose homes ha achieve high ratings. Okay, I can't read today. Their evaluations won't intrude on your day-to-day -day life, so there's no need to worry. Just enjoy the fun. That's something I was always thought about. Like, do they just come into your home in the middle of the night while you're sleeping? Because I would assume our characters are sleeping when we're not on, right? So they just sneak into your house. That's like really creepy. It's like Santa Claus, but home evaluations. <laughs> Which brings us to your new home loan. That'll be at 98,000 bells, please. Okay. Uh, don't worry, you can pay it back in installments, big or small. Payments can be made using the ABD feature at the Nook Stop. I think that's everything I need to tell you about the homes today, but I do have a nice surprise for you. I do hope you're ready for this. It's a premium Miles Redemption item, a Nook Miles ticket. We'll definitely use that because we'll probably have to go to get some more Iron Nuggets later. A Nook Miles ticket is a special travel voucher that can only get by redeeming Nook Miles. It's a conundrum, hmm. We want to improve our island, and but still hold on to the desert, deserted island magic. Well, now you can do both. You can use one of those tickets to do some island hopping adventuring. Yes, yes. Go anytime you want. Maybe you're looking to meet some new characters or gather materials for DIY projects. Your trip is yours to enjoy in any way you like. I've left your ticket in the counter at the airport, so use it whenever the travel mood strikes. Now then, go enjoy life in your freshly built home indeed all right so first let's talk to tom because we are going to tell him about our creatures all right so i think you have to donate all five and then for all five you get like some type of reward um so we have a crucian carp and then he is going to ask to give it to lathers which is fine because that's who we want to move in and then our donation gets us uh oh it's the app so you can track which fish and bugs you've caught and which ones have been donated to the museum it kind of bothers me that you can't tell which ones you've donated already until you get the actual museum built because i always lose track of which ones i've already donated to tom nook because once Blathers comes, you have to donate 15 more. So it's like having to keep track of like a mental note of which ones you've already donated. And that's just something I'm not very good at. So, all right, next up is a seahorse. Seahorse, yes, yes. We'll take extra good care of our seahorse. All right, I have been using the DIY table a little bit for our tools. He's been meaning to share some more DIY recipes with us. This is where I think we get the axe because we need the axe in order to get all the wood. All right, so I think we'll have that now. I usually try to get the museum built, well, at least the tent built on the first day, but um, yesterday in the game, we were just kind of working on getting our miles and everything. So I didn't think about donating our bugs and fish and everything, but we'll get that built today so blathers will move to the island tomorrow um which kind of stinks a little bit because we won't have the shovel because i believe you get the shovel from blathers so we're a little behind when it comes to tools but that's okay but for that we get red cosmos so we'll plant those because eventually we'll want to get to our three stars and you have to have like a crap ton of flowers for that um so those will help us and then we have two more okay take another creature there we go our common butterfly i think we have like three of those already so i don't know what to do with the rest of them but we could sell them but again i'm trying to keep the nook's cranny in the small version because it will fit our theme a little bit better so we'll see all right, and then he's giving us the DIY for a watering can. So we can make new fancy breeds of the flowers. 
but to be honest I'm probably gonna cheat a little bit when we go to actually decorate the island and just use our preferred colors so I won't really be doing any breeding of flowers I remember doing that like when the game first came out trying to breed all the flowers and like I swear it took up like half my island just to have those like nine square kind of patches of flowers to get the hybrids and then I remember they also had the fancy hybrid island that you could go to and get them but they took that away for some reason maybe they thought it just was too easy for us to get hybrids so they decided to take that away from us and just give us the normal islands I don't but if you played back in like March of 2020, do you remember the hybrid island? I always used to get like so excited when we found that island because I could just steal all the flowers. And I remember I got it a couple days after the game came out and my sister was already playing. So I went to her island and like stole a bunch of her flowers. She thought I was just going to pick them, but I actually like dug them out of the ground and she was a little upset. But she was much farther ahead in the game than I was back then, so... Alright, and then we just got the tent, so we'll go place that and then we will come back, I think, to craft some stuff. But I want to go place this first. Alright, so I'm going to put this on the- I don't know if it will fit on the beach, actually. We don't have that much room. I don't think we have that much room over here, either. Should I cheat and grab a vaulting pole real quick? Maybe we can do that. Will it fit here, actually? I try to put all the houses and everything. Oh, I don't think it's gonna fit. Maybe? Okay, it does fit. Okay. There we go. I try to put all the houses and the stores on the beach because it's just easier when we get to decorating. Everything's on the beach and you don't have to like worry about moving them because then you have to like time travel or wait a whole day. Oh, these are laying around too. We'll pick those up. But yeah, they just take up so much room on the actual island that you have to like worry about moving them and everything and that's not like the most fun. Um, okay, so next is gonna be the shop. I'm pretty sure we got the DIY for an axe. Yes, we did. So we need some branches and some stones. So I'm just gonna shake some of these trees. I forgot that we are a little farther ahead in the game than we are in real life. So I think in the game right now, we're on October 2nd. Um, so we have all the fall stuff appearing, like our acorns, and that's why we just got Jack's portrait in the mail as well. Um, but like all the acorns and pine cones and everything will be falling down, and then eventually we'll get the mushrooms appearing too. I think that's a little later, maybe. I think that's actually in November, so we shouldn't have that for a while. Okay, we got 10 branches, and then I need a stone. There we go. And I think that should be enough to make the axe. So let's go craft that real quick. Oh, Tom Nook wants to talk to us. Yes, I found a good spot for blathers. All right, and then I am gonna talk to Timmy because I think we can actually buy a shovel. Um, but he's gonna tell us about the shop first. They're gonna build a new shop because our community is growing. I like how Tom Nook is like, yes, you'll find out a way how to do it. And then he just like gives us all the work. He's like, Kaylee will figure it out. She'll get us all the stuff that we need. It's a little bit of a lazy business approach, but that's fine. All right, so we need 30 pieces of normal wood, hardwood, softwood, and then 30 iron nuggets. The iron nuggets are, are the worst part. <laughs> They really make it difficult. Okay, let actually let's talk to him first. Um, what's for sale? I think he should have a shovel. Oh, he doesn't have a shovel. That's okay. Oh, but we do have the pumpkins and the candy for it being um in October. But we don't need any of that now. Let's go ahead and craft our uh, axe and then we might actually time travel a day to get the museum built so we can get the shovel 
Um, but I am going to try to get all of the iron nuggets that we can today. Let's see. And then we got... We made 10 DIY. So we get some more points. And then I think the... Pocket expansion is 5,000 miles. So we're like a little over halfway. Um, there we go. Let me just check. I think it's 5,000 for the first expansion. And then 8,000 for the next. Yes, 5,000. And then I also want the tool ring because it just makes everything a lot easier. Um, but let's go ahead and get to chopping our trees. And then actually, do we have a net? No, let's make a net too because I don't want to get stung by the wasps or anything. And I don't think we've caught one yet either. And I know in the last episode, I was talking about maybe completing the museum on this island and... I did decide that is something that I want to do. I want to build the museum and try to complete it. Like the art, like all of the exhibits. So the art exhibit, the fish exhibit, the bug exhibit, and then the fossil exhibit. So that's something I've never done. I don't think I've, yeah, I haven't completed any of the exhibits ever. So I think it'll be fun to try to finish that. I know I was talking about first, um, oh, hello, Sylvia. Oh, is she gonna give us a shovel? I think she gives us a shovel. Yes! Alright, so we do have a shovel at least so we can start getting to work on our iron nuggets. I think she gives us a shovel and then I think the jock eventually gives you um, just some normal iron nuggets. Um, but I'm just gonna shake these trees at first to make sure we don't get stung by a wasp or anything. But what I was saying a second ago was, um, I was talking about getting the museum and completing all of the exhibits and everything because like I said before, that is something that I've always wanted to do and I've never actually completed it. I think the closest I ever came was the fish exhibit back like in the beginning of the game, um, when it first came out. Um, but it's something I've always wanted to do so I think we will do that on this island. In the previous episode, I said I wasn't sure about, um, oh, a wasp. There we go. I caught it. And then we can donate this one. Um, but I said I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that because the museum itself doesn't really match our witchy foresty island that we're going to be working on. Um, but I kind of decided that I don't usually decorate around the shops and everything on the islands anyways. I usually just trap them on the beaches. So I think we might be able to either hide it behind some items like the storefronts or um, what are those items? The castle walls. We could always hide it to make it fit in a little bit better. Or we could just leave it on the beach and kind of just leave it there so we can't even think about it. Um, and then we can actually finish the museum, so it doesn't matter if it doesn't fit in, but it's always something I've wanted to do, so I think I've decided that I'm just going to do the museum and then we can think about it later when it comes to designing if we want to just hide it or if we want to um, just leave it on the beach. But, alright. So I only got one wasp out of those, so I'm just going to go ahead and go around and chop all the wood. And for the shop itself, we need 30 of each, but then I know the actual three plots that probably won't be in this video or might be in the next video because this one's already going to probably be a little bit long collecting all of this stuff, but all of those require a crap ton of wood as well, especially the normal wood. And I feel like you always get the wood that you don't need <laughs> when you're doing this. Um, but you also need a ton of wood for that, and then I think you need 15 of each when it comes to, uh, what is that, the campsite. And then you'll also need, I think it's normal wood. It's either normal wood or hardwood for the, um, bridge that we have to make for the three villagers as well. So definitely a lot of chopping wood will be in our next couple of days. So I kind of want to make a... Oh, Dang it, our axe broke. Um, we only have one stick. Okay. 
Um, I forgot what I was saying. But I, oh, I want to chop enough wood that we have kind of like an excess. So when we do have to make like the bridge or all the three plots or the campsite, we have a little bit extra so we don't have to like, I don't know, scurry around to get all of that stuff. And then I know the tools also require some wood. So the, I know the tools as in um, the ladder and the vaulting pool. You have to use wood to do it. I think the ladder is all of them. And then I think the vaulting pool is only one type of wood. But we'll definitely need some for that as well. And then I think blather gives us the vaulting pool. So again, we can't even get to some of those trees or rocks to even try to get all the iron nuggets that we need. So I think I'm going to chop all the trees on this side of the river. And then we can go ahead and time travel to the next day in order to get blathers to move in. So we can get the shovel recipe because I know we have one shovel now, but it will probably break eventually. And then we'll time travel, get the shovel DIY, get the vaulting pole DIY. And then, did that not give me another piece? There we go. Um, and then probably tomorrow in the game that we'll go to the Nookmai Island to finish up the iron nuggets because I think we only have a couple of the rocks on this side of the river on the island. Um, so we won't be able to get all of the iron nuggets and then if we have the vaulting pole when we go to the mystery islands and everything, some of them are like hidden across, um, some of the rocks I mean are hidden across the actual rivers on the island so we'll be able to get to the rocks to even get more iron oh and we're out again i don't think we have we have a couple more trees okay all right let's collect a couple more sticks and then we can make another one these flimsy tools break really fast and i swear some of these trees never want to give me branches there we go Let's see, six, okay. Let's make this final flimsy axe. And then that will be the rest of the trees that we have on this side. And then we have a couple of the rocks so we can start collecting some of the iron nuggets and all of that for this. So let's make this axe real quick. I just wanna get this part over with, come on. All right. Also, I know it's only, right now I'm recording this on Saturday, so it is the 26th, but it is officially fall and I won't hear any arguments because the pumpkin spice latte just came out at Starbucks, so it's officially fall. I know fall isn't really until like September 22nd or something, but as soon as the pumpkin spice latte comes back in my heart, I know that it's fall. And I know that sounds like very basic <laughs> pumpkin spice lattes, but the heart wants what the heart wants. And the pumpkin spice latte came out on the 24th. And I have 100% gotten the pumpkin spice latte all three days since it came out. So this is my third pumpkin spice latte. And I also got the pumpkin muffin. It comes with like cream cheese. Oh, did I not shake this one? No! We're gonna get stung. Dang it. I forgot I had this shovel. I thought it was just gonna be my net. Okay, well, I guess we'll be sad and puffy again today. Um, okay, apparently I had a bunch of tools in my pockets. I thought I shook all the trees, but apparently not. But yes, I also got the muffin from Starbucks. And that is like a pumpkin muffin and then they have um, like a cream cheese in the center and then all the pumpkin seeds and kind of like nuts around the edge. It is delicious. And I could eat one of those. Okay, did I really just break another ax? How many trees do we have left? One, two, three, four. Okay, I feel like that's enough. I thought that was gonna be our last one, but it's not. But here is our shiny spot. So I am actually gonna plant this. <laughs> to get our bells. I usually like to plant 10,000, but obviously we don't have that much money right now. There we go. And then I think this is far enough away from this tree so it will grow, yes. 
Okay, I thought that was going to be our last shovel, but it was not. So let's... I don't even think I have any more stone, do I? No. Okay, let me collect this and then... I think we had a rock... Yes, we have a rock over here. So we'll... That's not where I wanted to go. So we'll collect this real quick and then... These weeds aren't in the way, right? I don't think they are. I also- I always find it a little interesting how people- Oh, this is money rock. So that doesn't really help with our stone issue that we have right now. Um, but at least we get some bells. But what I was going to say is I always find it interesting the pattern in which people use to hit the rocks. Because I always have done it on this like diagonal, so like up and sideways. But I saw people doing it like two to the upper side. And I've never done it that way, and I feel like their character always like flings around a little bit, so I don't know. But let's go ahead and clean up these weeds. And then we can hit this rock as well. So I always do one to the side and then one to the front. And then to get in a good position, I usually hop over the sides. <laughs> I don't think you need to do that part necessarily, but I think it's cute watching them jump over the holes. Alright, so we got at least one stone so we can make another axe. And then we got three iron nuggets. So that's a tenth of what we need. So that's okay pro progress. And then let's find our other rocks. By the way, these weeds are driving me crazy. We need to clean them up eventually because I can't stand them being here. There we go. I just feel like they get in the way and they kind of bother me, so <laughs> I'll probably clean them up eventually. Um, I do want to keep the store in the small version, so I probably won't, like, that was a lot of, what was that, five iron nuggets? I probably won't sell them to Timmy because I do want to keep the shop in the small version just in case we do want to place the shop on our island to decorate around. I feel like the small version fits a little bit better than the big version that actually looks like looks like a store and since our island is supposed to be kind of natural with um like a forest and swamp and everything I feel like a fully built shop doesn't really fit our aesthetic that we're going for so I am going to try to keep that in the small version okay so we got 11 nuggets and I think we got yes we have six sticks and a couple of rocks so we can make another axe all right so let's make our flimsy axe i know i said last one was our last one but i think this will be <laughs> our last one at least for this day in the game so let's craft that real quick and then we can pick everything up and see how much wood we have for everything how much wood we've collected so far all right so let's grab our axe but I was saying, um, I feel like it is officially fall, especially because I've been decorating on our other island, Booville, which is a, like, fall island. So I feel like I've just been in, like, the fall mood for, like, a while now. And I kind of want to, like, decorate my house already for fall, but I feel like it's a little too early to do that in real life. But I feel like... Because I know there's some people that get like pretty upset when people are like decorating for like Christmas or Halloween early. But I, I've never kind of like understood that mindset because if it's not like hurting you at all, like obviously my decorations are not going to be like attacking you or anything. So does it really matter if I decorate for uh, fall or Christmas early? Like if it makes people happy and it brings them joy in this like monotonous world then I'm all for it. I think that's all of our trees. So like if a little pumpkin statue makes me happy and not want to, oh, my pockets are full. Let's see. Um, okay, let's drop some of this stuff off at our house real quick. And then actually let me plant the flowers over here. I think you have to have 10 flowers to get Nook Mile, so I don't think we'll get anything from this. No, but we did call- oh, maybe we do. Oh, it was one of our things. But we got some points for hitting our rocks, for chopping our wood, and then we did get some of these ones for planting the flowers. But I think, like, the bigger version, like these ones, you don't get until you plant ten flowers. So that was only five, so we don't get that yet. 
but I think we're we're gonna be at oh okay let's drop this stuff at home and then we can go get our pocket expansion <clears throat> okay first off let's drop off all this stuff and then we'll get our bigger pockets Okay, so what do we not need? Okay, we can learn this, so it's not taking up any room in our pockets. And then I'm just gonna put these in storage. And then I'm gonna put the apples in storage, the portrait we can hang on the wall. Our leader jack, there we go. And then I'm gonna put the wasp in stuff in our storage as well, just so it's not like taking up any room. And then we can put the cherry in storage too. And then I think I'm gonna keep everything else. Okay, let's go. Okay, so real quick, let's run back to the tent. I feel like I've been inside of the res resident services tent like 16 times today. Look at Tommy, so cute. I wish he did this all the time. Why did they have to make him go inside the store? I don't know. I think he's cute this way. Okay, so here we are in the tent again. And then let's redeem our pocket expansion. We don't have enough for the tool ring yet, but that's okay. Redeem. And then the next pocket expansion is 8,000. And then we can't get that one until um, Isabel comes in. So we'll have to wait a little bit for that one. But at least now we have the three rows so we don't run out of room too quickly. Yep, three rows. Okay, let's go. I also just had to open up my door for my cat because she was like screaming at the door. Um, because I work in my office because I also work from home. So uh, my office is kind of split in half. One for my YouTube stuff, which is like my computer and where I dock my switch and everything. Oh, And then I also have a desk for work stuff because I just like to keep the two separate. So... I don't know it doesn't like merge fun and work together even though i'm doing it in the same space um but i had to let her into the office i usually close the door because i also have dogs and they bark a lot when people are like walking next to our house so i like to close the door so hopefully you can't like hear them barking if they do go crazy while i'm playing um but my cat was pissed that my door was closed <laughs> because she always like sits in here with me while i'm working so I think she was feeling a little left out. So I opened it. I don't know where she is now. I think I opened the door and then she just walked away. She was like, that's fine. As long as the door is open. <laughs> My dogs are also like that. Like this might be too much information, but when we're going to the bathroom, they hate when the doors are closed. So most of the time the door is just open anyways, because they'll just scratch at the door. And we don't own this place. So we rent this house. So I don't want them to like scratch up the doors or anything so and then my cat just screamed in the background so i'm don't, i don't know if you heard that but if you did i don't know she's loud so but i haven't heard any of the dogs barking yet but going back to my tangent that i was on a little bit ago um with like the decorations i just don't know why people get so angry about stuff like that like honestly if my decorations aren't hurting you which they aren't because they're inside my house so if you don't like it, you can just leave. But it's also like, if it just brings people joy, like I don't know why it's such a big deal. Like if people want to decorate for Halloween year round, like I'm for it. Um, whatever just brings you happiness because we're like on a giant rock in outer space, right? Is it, Does it really matter that much if someone has a glass pumpkin on their coffee table? I don't think so personally, so decorate for whatever holiday you want if you want to keep your christmas lights up on your house year round i think it's pretty so i don't mind it as long as they're not the icicle lights right i don't like those ones especially because in like florida we don't actually have snow so it just looks like hanging lights from your house it always just like looked a little bit weird so i don't know okay i'm gonna continue picking this up and then i will meet you back once we have once I picked everything up because this is probably not that exciting of content. So I will see you in a minute. All right, hello again. I finished picking everything up. So let's take a look at what we got. So we got our 30 softwood, our 30 hardwood, 
and then we did get 30 normal wood as well so i'm actually gonna just drop them right here um to clean up a little bit of room in our pockets there we go and then i know these are set for our um shop that we have and then i am gonna quickly find our message in a bottle out actually we have a slingshot don't we yes I saw a balloon. Oh, a little too far. There we go. I always forget about the balloons because I never actually pop them when I'm playing normally. Um, oh, a tango dress. This is definitely a look. <laughs> I'm going to change into back into my shirt and pants. And then, like I said, in a little bit, we will um, get our normal outfit on. And then, yes, I saw our message in the bottle. So let's see what DIY we got. It's from Shino. My style is legit always on my mind. I'm always asking, am I operating at peak me? So here's a special recipe that'll let you know however you want. Le that'll let you look however you want, whenever you want. You use this to glitz up your style. I think it's a mirror. Yes. Okay. I think like the first couple of DIYs that you get are always like in the same category. So you always get like a DIY table. You always get a mirror and all that kind of stuff in the first couple rounds. Um, yes, but I've collected everything that I can right now since we can't get across the river at the moment. So I am going to go ahead and time travel and then I will see you once we're back. Okay, BRB. Okay, we are back and it's raining, but let's see what Tom has to say. Oh. I forgot that our wood would be visible <laughs> in this shot. Um, hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It is 928 this happy Monday, October 3rd. And I am now just realizing that I have the game set to 2022 and not the current year, which is 2023. So I think, I think I've been playing in the wrong year this whole year. Oh well. All right, as of this very day, a brilliant fellow by the name of Blathers will be joining us on Clover. Blathers has a keen interest in biology, past and present, and he's here to study clover. I sincerely hope everyone lends their cooperation. Inquisitive residents should stop by his tent for details. That's all from me. Time for you all to get out and enjoy your day. Yes, yes. Yes, we will enjoy our day when it's torrential downpour. Lovely. Oh no. Gulliver. I'm not doing his challenge. Oh. Hello, Tian Cheng. He heard that we're building a shop. Oh, he's gonna give us the iron nuggets. Thank you, Tian Chang. I think he gives you five. Let's see. Yeah, so we had 11 and now we have 16. And let's see, our message is from Drago. Some people say Drago. Is it Drago or Drago? I always said Drago. I don't know. A weird DIY TV show I watched at 2 a.m. told me to make this. So I did. Here's the recipe. I put the recipe in a bottle so someone else could make it too. You should try making it. It's a cardboard chair. Lovely. <laughs> I don't think we'll be using that on this island, but thank you, Drago. All right, let's go stop by Blathers because he'll give us some DIYs. I love this little tent. I think it is so cute. I kind of... I don't know. I wish we had some of these items. Like, I want a box with stuff inside of it like this. We just get, like, a boring wooden box. But I love, like, the little books on the table. Everything is so cute in here. And then we can't have any of it. Any of it? Okay. Let's talk to Blathers, because I think he'll give us the shovel DIY and then also the vaulting pole so you can collect, um, fossils. Because I think all the fossils start on the other side of the river in the game. Okay, we're gonna open a museum. Any new type of insect or fish? Let's see. All right, I just want the DIYs, Blathers. I don't really care what you have to say. Um, you see, it is only insects and fish I plan to display in the esteemed institution, but fossils too. As it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. I would bet the I would bet my pin feathers. This primitive plot is flush with fossils I require. But the river, you say? I can't just hop over it, you say? Who, silly you? I have a solution as audacious as trying to populate an entirely deserted island. 
Pardon me, Keely, while I transmit the vital data to your neck phone. Yes, this is what I came for, Blathers. I also love that he wears a bow tie and that his shirt kind of looks like an Argyle sweater or something. It's very cute. All right, there you see, with good, with wood gathered from clover, one can make a lengthy vaulting pole. This pole can be used to propel oneself across the river. Up and over you go, hooty hoo. I sent the DIY schematics for a shovel too to dig fossils from the ground as well. Which brings me to my point. Please, Kaylee, cross the river and seek out these ancient relics. My feathers, I have blathered on far too long, but let me leave you with this. If I am to open the museum, I must acquire more items to to exhibit 15 more to be precise. I pervert- He uses some big words. I hope you will donate your precious finds to the cause. Alright, so let's see. I think we can make these. And my little Google thing is talking in the background. So I don't know if you heard that, but it's saying it's not connected to Wi-Fi. I don't know why. But anyways, we can make the vaulting pole and then we can make the shovel as well. I think- I don't think I'm gonna make the shovel quite yet, but I will make the vaulting pole. All right, let's run back over to the, uh, mu not the museum tent, the resident services tent. Oh, look at, he doesn't have his flag anymore, but he has a cute little leaf umbrella. Let's go make our vaulting pole. Hello everyone. All right, don't mind me just making a vaulting pole. Let's see, yes, we can make this. And then we'll find the rocks on this island and then I think we'll go ahead and go to our mystery island. Alright, so I know there are two rocks over this way. And I really need the tool ring, but I don't have it yet. Let's see. We might actually get enough iron nuggets that we don't have to go to a mystery island. But we'll try all these ones first um, before we go over to another island. We have one. Okay, this is all stone. Okay, two iron nuggets. And then for the clay, I know that we have to use some of the clay for the three villagers that we'll get like in the next day. Um, so I will collect, obviously I'll collect it. I'm not just gonna leave it on the ground, but I'm not gonna be like going out searching for it. Okay, money rock again. There we go. Whoever thought of the idea to dig the holes in the ground to, to get all hits out of the rock is a genius. I have also used like items before, like if I place like a fish here and a fish here, it worked as well. And then I know some people like try to make permanent little sections on their island. So they'll put like, oh, our money, tr they'll put um like pieces of fence there too and I think that works as well. Let's bury this in the hole. Oh I could have done 10,000 this time. Oh well. Oh well we'll just do the one for now. Did I miss this rock yesterday? I feel, I feel like I only hit three rocks last time. That's okay. Let's see. I haven't seen Sylvia yet today. There's Tan Cheng again. I also- he also gives- like the jock always gives you a hat in the beginning. But maybe because he was sitting in the chair, we just never got it and then he'll never give it to us. I don't know. Oh, well, I missed one this time. But we got two more iron nuggets. There we go. What does that put us at? We have 20. So we just need 10 more, which I feel like we might be able to do without going to a mystery island. Let's see. But there we go. And then I see a fish. I have to remember to actually try collecting all of these. And then I would catch that pill bug, but I want the iron nuggets more. So this is more important as of right now. All right, so three more. So we need, what does that leave us? Seven more. But I do have to remember that I am trying to finish the museum as well. So I'll actually have to like go fishing every once in a now, once in a while. Because usually I just do it in the beginning to get our Nook Mile like achievements and then I totally forget about it because I just decorate the island and don't care about stuff like that. And I think that's a new bug. Let's see. Come here. I think this is the rice hopper. Oh gosh. 
What? There we go. Yes. Okay, new bug. Do I still have enough room in my pockets? Yes. Let's see. There's no rock on this side. Is it over here? Oh no, but there's a fossil. We'll collect that as well. There we go. I think the like easiest of the exhibits to complete would be the bugs because like the bugs you can actually see what you're getting um like obviously you can tell that it's a rice grasshopper before catching it so you don't like collect random bugs but like when you're fishing or catching not catching fossils but finding fossils you don't know what you're getting until you've already caught it or dug it up and had it assessed so i think the bugs would probably be the easiest because you can already tell right off the bat um what you're getting but like fish you can kind of tell because of like the size of it and like the time of year but for like the fossils it's like 100 percent up to chance which ones you get i haven't seen anything that says like you get these specific fossils during a specific time of year or anything i, th I don't think i'm gonna be able to get this i think it's too far yeah oh well okay yeah, but I haven't seen anything that says, like, you get these specific fossils during a specific time of year. I think it's just a 100% chance. But if I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments if the fossils that you can get, like, depend on the type of year it is. Okay, here's our next rock. I was starting to wonder. And then I think there's always a rock up on top of the cliff. Obviously, we won't be able to get that one right now. But let's get this one. I don't think we're going to get seven iron out of this one, but at least we can get closer. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, four is pretty good. So that leaves us with three left. So if we hop across this river and there is a oh actually we only need two more i lost apparently i messed up count somewhere in there but if there's one over here we might be able to do it without going to a mystery island there is another fossil the fossils count as like part of the 15 right because you need 15 bugs and fish like new specimens to open up the actual museum oh dang we do have to go to a mystery island but I think the fossils count as well. So let us go back this way. All right, let's drop this stuff off in front of the museum and then we'll go over to the mystery island. I really wish it wasn't raining. It just is, it's so gloomy. Let's see, let's drop this stuff off. Oh, actually, let me catch this eel. <laughs> it's like an ADD moment, ADHD. There we go. Okay, again, I'm playing this without sound, so if I miss it- Come on. Don't- don't laugh at me in the comments. Whatever you do, don't laugh at me. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know how to get it in the right spot either. There we go. This one should be it. One. There we go. Nailed it. And I did that without sound, so I'm a pro- pro gamer. Alright, ribbon eel. We'll leave this outside of the tent as well. Apparently this is just going to turn into a fishing video as well. Let's see. There we go. Number two. And it's a freaking sea bass. I think I already donated the sea bass, but I'm just going to leave it here so it's not sitting in our pockets. There we go. I'm going to pull this out a little bit. There we go. And then we'll place our rice hopper rice hopper rice grasshopper and then our ribbon eel should be able to fit up here too right okay no i've trapped myself in oh well and then i'm just gonna drop all the fossils there we go and that should leave us enough room in our pockets um worst comes to worst i'll just drop our tango dress but i think we should have enough room 
but let's go ahead and go to our mystery island. All right, Orville, take me away. Hey, hey, welcome to our one and only gateway to the skies, the Clover Airport. Nice to meet you. I'm Orville, ground crew for Dodo Airlines. Dodo Airlines, the crew may be flightless, but that doesn't mean you have to be. That's kind of cute, actually. All right, I know about all of your services. I just want to go on a mystery flight. All right, I want to fly. And then Nook Miles to get. I remember the first time I ever used one of these, I actually brought my actual workbench with me because I didn't, because I'd never been to one before, so I didn't know that they had a workbench on the island. So I brought it with me in case my tools broke and then I felt kind of stupid when I got there and all the islands already have like a workbench set up, but I fully brought mine. I don't even think you can set your bench out when you get there. I don't think you can place items. But I was fully prepared and brought a whole workbench with me. Alright. And then we can see who is on the island as well. Because it should have a... A villager here. Yes, I know. We can't return to the island. Catch some bees. Oh my god. That... That is probably one of the, the worst options that we could have gotten. Truffles? Well, I'm definitely... <laughs> I'm definitely not inviting truffles. But I will strip this island of its resources. Alright, so we already hit our 30 iron nuggets, but I'm gonna collect all of it because we might need it for the items for like the three villager plots. So I'm just gonna collect it always. I can't believe we got truffles. If you watch Nintendo talk, you know that he hates truffles and I 1000% agree with him. I don't really like most of the pig villagers, like, but truffles and curly, there's some other type of evil. I don't know. Some of these character designs in this game, I'm just like, who was paid to make this character? Especially like Moose or like Rizzo, the mice characters, they are works of art in a bad way. Like some of the villagers, like Shino, work of art in a good way. But Rizzo, horrendous. And she's like, I don't want her even like near me. Okay. There we go. This island actually has like quite a bit of iron. Which is nice. It's also nice that it's not raining here. Okay, five more iron. I will 100% take that. I also feel like we could have emptied our pockets and taken some of the flowers so we could get to three stars. Um, I might take the rest of my pockets full of them. Please do not touch my truffles. But let me know in the comments if any of you actually like truffles because I I have some questions for you. All right, and then I think we can just do it here against the wall. I don't know if we'll get all eight, but we'll get close at least. Okay, we did. There we go. And then I am going to take as many flowers as I can. Let's see. I don't need this. We don't need this or the sticks. Okay, and then I'm just gonna fill my pockets up with all the flowers. I, okay, lovely, my shovel broke. At least I got all of the way through with my hitting of the rocks and everything, but I am gonna go craft a flimsy shovel real quick. And then, yeah, fill my pockets up with the flowers. Do we actually have a DIY on the beach? Oh, I'm gonna... I already caught a monarch butterfly, I think, actually. So I'm not gonna collect that one. Do we have a DIY? No DIY on your first island? That's kind of rude. Alright, let's craft a shovel. I'm like 90% sure we ca caught a monarch already. There we go. And then for these flowers, I am not going to be using these to decorate with. Um, 
because I have a set no like a set couple of flowers I want to use as decorations on Clover. Um, and we'll go over that when we go over like more. Oh, that was a weed. Okay. Thank you. But I'll go over more details of like our color scheme, what items that we want to use, and what like flowers and everything. But I definitely won't be using like red lilies or anything. I'm just gonna grab these to try to get to three stars because you do need a bunch of flowers to hit that with Isabel. So we can just prepare a little bit earlier. Let's see. We can grab three more. I might use like the white ones, but definitely not yellow or red. Let's see. And then I think just one more. Yes, so we have to run around a little bit. But I do want to make another like mood boarding. So I kind of have these two ideas. I kind of want to make our mood board in Canva. And then I'm thinking about making like a mood board on the island as well, like with some of our items that we want to use and seeing how we want to use them, I guess, if that makes sense. Okay, we got everything. So kind of like a two part mood board, one where we just like put our villager lineup and all the items that we're thinking about using on a page in Canva and then a mood board on the island where we actually make like a pretend build. So let me know if you're interested in both of those or if you think we just need one of them and then we'll see. Okay, we are back and I'm going to plant these flowers and then turn in our items and it's still raining. All right, so let's plant all of these on the beach. Actually, I'm gonna plant them over here because maybe they'll spread. So we'll have to collect less flowers because if they like breed together, um, not even breed together, but if they just like, I guess it would still be breeding, right? I don't know. If they make more flowers, that's less work for us, especially because it's raining right now. Um, we won't have to dig up as many when we go to hit three stars. And then let's collect our wood and then we can go get our shop from Timmy. All right, Timmy, I've got your stuff. Let's see about building a shop. Oh, I'd like to donate. Let's see, you brought in, oh my, you brought in everything we need all at once. And I'm gonna give these to you. Here you go, my boy. All right. A pendulum clock, a gothic mirror, and a school chair, I think he said. Such random items. Okay. And then he'll give us the shop. I love how tiny that little package is that holds like an entire shop. And how did he even get that when he just magically got all of our items? Makes no sense. Um, let's see. Okay, we got our 10 fish. And then anything else? No, but we can get the tool ring. So let's get that real quick. And then we also get 100 miles for logging in three days in a row. Perfect. But I am going to get the tool ring. All right, thank you. That makes my life a lot easier because you can easily click like which ones that you want instead of having to like click through each individual tool that you have in your pockets. There we go. Okay. And then we can go ahead and place down our shop. All right, so let's go ahead and go across the river. Um, luckily we have our vaulting pole that we got from Blathers today because we can just put the shop on the beach. So I'm gonna put it down right here if it fits, hopefully. Let's see. This is the spot. Again, it's just out of the way, so you don't have to worry about moving it later on when you're going to decorate. There we go. And I think, I think the only thing else we have to do is to, I think I want to change my outfit real quick. So let's see what items we can grab that will fit us a little bit better. Let's see. 
All right, so this island is going to be a witchy, uh, swampy, foresty island. So I want to kind of get that over in our outfit as well. So the first things, the first things that we have are going to be the frugal outfit. So let me grab those real quick. And then let's see. So I got the frugal hat and the frugal dress. I don't know if I want to wear the dress or the like outfit. It's like a shirt and pant combination, but we'll do these for right now. And then I got a few more items to make it really look like me. So I got our rimmed glasses because these are the ones I always wear. And then I got our face bandage because again, I always wear it. And then I got a pair of Luigi shoes because I just think that is like a really cute outfit. And there we go. We have our Clover Kaylee. This might change a little bit once we get our custom designs from the Able shop because there are a couple cute outfits that I have been seeing on Pinterest that I might want to wear. But for now, this is what we have. And I think we got our shop and our blathers tent all set up. So I think this is where I'm going to end the video. It's already been a little bit over an hour. So we'll end it here. And then in the next episode, hopefully we'll go through our three villager houses and get closer to actually decorating. So that's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. Before you leave, make sure to give the video a like, comment, and to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, friends. Again, I don't have a reaction or I would wave, but I don't have one. But anyways, bye, everyone.